boys and girls, you ready to travel again? Last week we were in Mexico with tomatoes, the week before that America with corn, and then the week before that we were in India. This week we're going to Egypt. Check this out. So we're in Salt Lake City. We're gonna come all the way over here across the North Atlantic Ocean and we're gonna come to Africa, to the country of Egypt. Now in Egypt, thousands of years ago in 50 AD, they found the first lettuce. Now there are so many different varieties of lettuce, I wanna show you a few of them. So with over 50 different kinds of lettuce, they all have one thing in common. Actually, a few things in common. But what I'm thinking of is the superhero. That's vitamin K. Now vitamin K is pretty amazing. We'll talk about that in a minute. But as we start out with, say, iceberg lettuce, it's not a lot of nutritional value. It's really crunchy, it's lots of great water, and it's fun to eat. Then we move up to romaine lettuce, which is, we're gonna, we're gonna use that in our recipe today with the lettuce boats. We'll come back to that. Fantastic. The romaine lettuce has over 18 vitamins and minerals, where iceberg lettuce probably has maybe three or four, right? Both of them have a lot of water. Now let's move up to spinach. Spinach has over 21 vitamins and minerals, and they're all super high in vitamin K, particularly spinach. Now we're gonna to move to the kingpin. This guy has 23 vitamins and minerals. I don't even know what. With 23 vitamins and minerals, how did they get all that in there? If you look closely, you wonder, how in the world do they get 23 vitamins and minerals in kale? So this one's called kale, this is spinach, this is romaine lettuce, and this is iceberg. You have so many choices, you're never gonna get bored of lettuces. Now there's so many different kinds you'll love as well. But when you go to the grocery store, try to pay attention. Hey, what kind of lettuce is this? What shape is it? Where did it come from? Where did it grow? And remember that they all started way back long ago in Egypt. Your body has over 200 bones. Now the only way these bones can move is if they have muscle attached. Now muscles attach to the bones by ligaments, tissues, and cells. Now, it kind of looks a little bit like an elastic. Once they attach to the bone, then we can begin to move, right? Now, the cool thing about vitamin K is that's what feeds your tissues, right? Vitamin K is only one of the many vitamins and minerals in lettuce, but it's amazing. So every one of these lettuces that we talked about has over 100% of the, of the vitamin K that you need for your day. So make sure you get a salad any way you want. Just include it in your day somewhere, somehow. Maybe with dinner, maybe with lunch, maybe put a lot on your sandwich. And I'm gonna show you one way to have a salad boat. One of my favorite ways to eat lettuce is called the Yoga Me Do Salad Boat. All you do is take a, a head of romaine lettuce and when you buy them, they usually come in packs of three. So you have lots to choose from. Break off the little leaves right here and you'll notice they're already in the shape of a boat. Right? We did these last year, so you might remember, but these are really fun to just break off for dinner, put a couple of them together. You can put them in your vegetable tray, make sure you wash them off. And once you've got your lettuce boats, we're gonna fill them up with anything we want. So I, used to, I happen to have like peppers and carrots and celery and broccoli in my vegetable tray. So I just cut these up a little bit smaller and then I ended up having some leftover corn and beans. So that's what I'm gonna put in my salad boat for today, but you can put anything you want. So I'm gonna use some tomatoes. Remember we talked about those a week ago, super delicious. We're gonna add a little bit of corn. That'll add a little bit of sweetness. And then I'm gonna put some of my favorite peppers. Nummy, and some beans. Beans add a little bit of protein. Super good for your muscles, for your heart. Now, you can add any dressing you want. Miss Amy likes to make my own dressing. So sometimes I'll take olive oil, really good healthy fat for you. And healthy fat is good for your brain and good for your heart. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Then I like to take a little bit of lemon or lime juice. It's so good. Then I'm just gonna get a little sprinkle of salt. So I take my little salt jar, I'm gonna take a little pinch and go like that, that's it. Now you can put seeds, you can put nuts, you can put cheese on it, whatever else you want, but this is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna take a bite and I'll meet you in the other room for yoga. Mmm, that's delicious. Hi boys and girls. One of my favorite things about this time of year is watching the trees change colors. I love trees anyway, but during fall time, they're especially beautiful. Now an interesting thing about trees is that one tree, just one big or a medium sized tree can provide enough oxygen for two people for an entire year, right? So trees are really important. They provide oxygen and they also use carbon dioxide, which we breathe out. 
So trees are really important. And um, also in yoga, we actually have a tree pose. So it's kind of fun to be able to mimic a tree. Now the reason I like to do tree pose is because we practice being strong like a tree. If you'll recognize during winter or summer or fall or rain or wind, trees have to be really strong. So they have a root system. They dig down deep into the earth and they hold strong regardless of the weather right? Now sometimes we have to be strong, right? Sometimes you might have a bad day or maybe a friend's mean to you or maybe you have so much homework and you're frustrated about it. We have to be strong too and not just muscle strong, but we have to be brain strong. So sometimes practicing these things really helps our brain to get a little bit stronger too. So today we're going to do what's called tree pose, right? And we have one other pose I'm going to show you. But as we practice tree pose, I want you to think about being strong. I want you to think about your feet being roots. I want you to think about your arms being branches. And most of all, about your brain being strong. Okay? So we're going to practice our breathing techniques. Just put your thumbs on your rib cage, tap your belly. It's kind of fun to be outside. You can do yoga anywhere, and you can practice these breathing techniques anywhere. So let's take a big deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, roll them back. Good. Take a full circle. Inhale up and drop it back down. Good, now one other fun breathing technique. We did ladder last time. Oh, can you hear that wind? I love it. So one other breathing technique that's really fun is called lion's breath. And if you've ever seen a lion, they take big gigantic roars, right? This isn't gonna be a roar, but what you do is instead of the roar sound, you make a ha sound like this. Right? So let's breathe in. Come down, put your hands on your thighs. We're gonna inhale through the nose and then try to empty your stomach by saying ha. Ready? Push it out. <sighs> Good job. It looks kind of funny, I know, but it's a really fun way to get all that carbon dioxide out and then breathe in that fresh oxygen, which helps your brain to kind of reset. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> nice work. Let's try it one more time. Nice job, stand right up. So notice what happens. Your stomach starts to feel a little bit warm, your tummy muscles are warmed up, and also your throat. So that's a fun exercise. We'll do that in the future again. So now that we do tree pose, all you're gonna do is let's pick the right side. Let's start on the right foot. All I want you to do is try and lift that left leg off. See if you can find your balance here. Now if this is easy, go ahead and move to the next stage where you place your foot either by your ankle, on your calf, or all the way up to the inner thigh. Right now that's a little bit slippery for me on my pants, but I'm going to put it right here on my calf. Now, you don't want to put it right on your knee because you want to avoid pushing onto your knee. So try to do your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh. Now bring your hands out, just like branches, right? You can scatter them if you like, you can put them high, you can put them low, you can point them like we did last week, right, in warrior three pose. However you find it, we're going to be here for three counts, okay? So start listening to your breathing, inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we're going to take a little break. All I want you to do is take that leg and put it right on top and we're going to come into what we call chair pose. Okay? So you're resting your left leg on top of your on top of your right thigh. You're reaching your fingertips forward and your sit bones are pointing back. Now, try to notice what muscles you feel working here. Inhale and exhale. Now, just like your muscles are trying to be strong here, make your mind strong. Keep it focused. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale the arms up and exhale back down. Nice job. Now let's try it on the left side. So you're going to spread the toes in your leg. Even if you have your shoe on, just spread your toes, make them wide. Now see if you can bring that right leg up. Begin to balance on the right side. Okay, now place it on the leg by the ankle, the calf, or all the way up to the inner thigh muscle. And all you're going to do is stay here. Pick a different place to put your arms. Now remember our two goals of focusing is one, look at a place that isn't moving and then see if you can be so still and so quiet that you can hear yourself breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. Feel free to move your arms to a more comfortable spot if it gets uncomfortable for you. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Nice job. So bring that leg out in front, bend the left leg, place the right ankle just above that left knee, and bring the fingertips forward. Okay, now notice what muscles right off. I can tell which muscles in my legs are moving. Can you? Pay attention to what muscles are working. Now inhale, and exhale. Challenge yourself to take deep breaths. Even though you might feel a little bit tired and you can feel those muscles working, focus, make your mind strong, and take long, deep breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Good, inhale the arms up, and exhale back down. Nice job, now let's do daydream. All right, boys and girls, it's daydream time. So today, I just want you to imagine you're sitting by your favorite tree. You get to daydream about where the tree is, about what kind of weather it is, about what kind of tree it is. But I want you to just sit, just crisscross applesauce. And all I want you to do is make your spine really long and tall. And we're gonna focus on our breath for one minute and 10 seconds. Last week, the last couple of weeks, we've done one minute. So we're gonna add just a little bit more time today. Now, see if you can have that strong mind and keep it focused on the sound of the breath and on thinking about your very favorite daydream of trees. Okay, those strong trees. Okay, so here we go, one minute. Inhale, and exhale. Notice what sounds you would hear if you were outside. Try to relax every muscle in your body. your mind starts to wander, bring it back to that sound of the breath. Thirty more seconds. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, move your head from side to side, open your eyes, nice job. When you're ready, we're going to take one final breath. Are you able to imagine? I'm excited to hear about where your trees are. Maybe your teacher can take a minute to find out where you were, how part of the world were you in? All right, let's take one more breath, all the way up to 10. Inhale, two, three, sit super tall, give your spine lots of room, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and exhale back down, nice job. Way to go, enjoy this fall weather, and we'll see you next week with Yoga Me Do.